Let's understand the Paytm news and let's break it for our viewers. Rahul Jain joins us, Vice President Research with Dollar Capital. Rahul, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Do you think this is just a technically a book entry where the ownership from the right hand moves to the left hand? So, uh, hi, uh, thanks for this. Uh, basically, uh, I, I would say this helps uh, in a multiple way. This actually uh, talks in a way that what kind of uh, relationship and support they uh, have from uh, and Finn. And uh, from a uh, clear business point of view, I think it takes away the risk uh, around, uh, you know, there's a lot of talk about, in the past there has been talk about hostile transactions, what if and Finn stake is purchased by one single entity and they were owning close to 25% at that point of time. So those kind of risks are out. And uh, secondly, uh, even from some of the regulatory challenge, if you look at their payment services license, which is uh, pending for approval for more than six months now, uh, where the constraint was also related to, you know, Chinese ownership. So, so essentially those kind of challenges may see a better continuity going forward after this transaction. So it helps in many ways. Raul, was there an overhang of uh, and financials in the market? Because, I mean, they've not come out and said that, look, we are looking at selling our stake in the market. So that was an assumed overhang. Yeah, there was an assumed overhang. And the reason uh, why it had some merit is because they were actually owning some stake in Zomato also, which came uh, in the market some 6% odd. And there was another entity uh, of uh, and uh, which was owning stake. So, so once those stakes are uh, out in the market, uh, there is always a thought process that more could happen anywhere else. Uh, but yes, on specifically for this 25% stake, there was no official comment. And usually such block uh, would never come out as an open comment uh, because that would lead to a significant amount of speculation. But at this point, definitely this helps. Okay. So if the stock goes higher because of this technical factor, should one use the strength to sell out or this is something which is going to change the near term uh, terminal value of the stock? See, uh, I would say uh, basically the way the financials have moved over the last couple of quarters, there's a lot of merit uh, in the business and uh, the value of the stock in our view uh, is much higher than what it is right now. So we were, uh, we were uh, kind of positive earlier also, and this only adds up to our confidence. Uh, yes, there are some investors uh, in market who uh, have a very, very big constraint regarding to uh, the supply, if there is a significant amount of supply in the market. So any resolution on that kind of a thought process definitely help their uh, mindset uh, so that they can also be uh, focusing purely on the fundamental factor and not on the supply side factor. So that way it uh, possibly helps uh, in a potential uh, stock up move uh, on a relative basis.